Good evening and welcome to an extra crafting session this evening. My name's Jenny McCormack. I am an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley, which is in Northamptonshire in the centre of the UK. Thank you for joining me. If you're joining me live, um, it's always lovely to know who's watching, so do say hi. If you're watching on catch up or on replay and you have any questions or you just want to say hi and comment, then please do so either on Facebook or on YouTube, depending on where you're watching and when you're watching. I do upload my Facebook videos to YouTube. A lot of people find it easier to watch and find on YouTube. And if you want to know when I'm going live, you can either follow me on Facebook or you can subscribe to my YouTube page and then on my channel rather, and then you'll get notifications of when I've uploaded something new. I thought I would just pop on because I'm running a little bit behind with my kits and showing you the kits. So I do actually have two other kits that I haven't um, done anything with and I'd love to share those with you. The kits are a perfect way to either introduce somebody to some crafting, in particular card making. Um, also, if you're going on holiday or you've got limited space, then it's the perfect way to do some crafting because all you need, in general, is included in the box. All of our main kits come in this format, so it comes in a nice cardboard box, very easy to post off to somebody else, um, complete, it has a, usually has a wrapping around it, and on the back of the boxes, or on the wrapping, is the label that tells you what the actual kit is. This one is called Hello Hollyhocks, and this one is just £14. Some of our kits include stamps and block and an ink pad they tend to be around the 20 pound mark this one has die cut printed sentiments and so the cost is kept down as i say this one is 14 pounds here in the uk and it is currently available to order okay let's get cracking if you're looking for the kits, they don't, because we have so many, they don't appear in full detail in the current catalogue. On pages 8 and 9, you will see some sample kits. These are current ones. Whether they'll still be current in a year's time, I don't know. No guarantee of that. But there is a QR code on the page that you can scan with a mobile phone or an iPad or a tablet and that will take you to the kits collection and if you've got one of my catalogues that I've sent out some of them will have my own Q card on the QR code on there and you will go straight to my shop with the information for the UK okay so let us get cracking right so I'm just going to open this up now I have opened it for somebody to have a look at while we were at coffee and card but I haven't done anything with it or looked any further so all of our kits oh sorry it's a bit of a, a bit light isn't it all of our kits have an instruction leaflet which is um, photographs so it's not written text so this is suitable for anybody as long as you're able to look at the images and work out what is going on. All of these particular kits include adhesive. In this case, there are some foam pads and also some tape, and that's indicated here. And it even tells you where to put the tape on each of the elements. There's a set of instructions for each of the three different sets of cards. And obviously you can do it exactly as Stamping Up have put it together or you can do your own thing. So if you have your own sentiment stamps 
or additional elements, die cuts and things, you can obviously make it completely your own. Let me get all of these pieces out. As she drops the box, I'm oh, sorry, there we go. Okay, so let me just sort out these bit, different bits and pieces. So we've got some die cuts here with some panels, which are banners, and then the wording. And this is in English, French, German and Dutch. These are some of the die cut flowers for one of the cards. So what I tend to recommend is to leave them on the sheet until you're ready to start crafting. But if you do pull the elements apart, have either a little cellophane bag or a little dish or something next to you so you can put all of the elements in there and so you don't lose them. Where you have these multiples, for example here we have thanks in English, but we also have them in the other three languages, you could either gift the extra ones here to somebody that either has friends in French, in France, or are French, or what you can do is just use the reverse because most of these have white backings and you could use these for your own sentiments and your own die cut. So you can ignore the fact it's printed on that side, turn it over and stamp your sentiment on there. So don't throw those other elements away, make sure you make use of those. Okay, so those are some die cut banners. Maybe I'll get one each of these out. Let's put a thanks. I don't know which ones go together. I'm just getting one each ready. Okay, and then I'm going to put these other pieces back in my box. Like so. Okay, so these are those little die cuts and they're just very lightly attached so you don't get um, too much of an edge in there so there's that one and there's obviously a pretty peacock one as well like so and I'm trying to work out if these are all the same I think this is a different one maybe let's have a look and yeah that's a different one and the other thing you can do with the die cuts is if you don't like the colour what you can do is turn these over so if you're um, an experienced crafter and very lightly you could change the colour either by using a blending brush you could use an ink pad you could use a blends pen to colour and change that and let me see those are the same one two three one, two, three, I think that's all of those. I'll find out in a minute <laughs> when I'm looking for it. Okay, so I'm just going to go through and pick these out. There's the three sets of hollyhocks. And my parents used to have a lot of hollyhocks along the... Um, we live next to like um, a tennis club and there was a big wooden um, side to the tennis club and I remember they had hollyhocks growing up the side of this wooden um, unit. Okay so let's pick out here we've got hello and thinking of you and again we've got these in the other languages as well. These are stitched around the edges, so it's not quite the same if you're using the reverse, but you can still see some of the stitching. Okay, that's a repeat, as is that one. So you get three sets of those. So I've got three sentiments for three cards, and then this is one of the card bases. With the olive. We've got this one here with the petal pink and this one here with the printed hollyhocks on as well. Ok, 
Okay, right, that's a duplicate one. And these ones I've got out already. I do love this um, this one here with the frame with the stitching on and the hollyhocks on top. Okay, let's grab this one of those and one of those. Put those away. That's a repeat of what I've just got ready, as is that one. Okay, and then we have some printed envelopes that fit the cards, obviously. So I'll grab three of those, because I've got three cards to make. We have in here some gold sparkle Um, bling so there I don't know how much of that you can see really because of the light but very gold and sparkly we have some dim mini dimensional so these are the small foam pads used for lifting up but they have adhesive on either side and then we also in this kit have some tape so this is double sided tape and you will find that there will be more tape than you need unless you go completely overboard and double up everything <laughs> that they suggest. Okay, and then finally in the pack you do have this cardboard base which everything is attached to with the cellophane on top. And if you have an uneven surface at home or maybe you're out in the caravan or something or you don't have something to protect your surface then I recommend you use this and then if there's any glue or anything else um, it will stick to this and not to your best um, your best dining table I've got a f nice fairly straight I've got a nice surface here so I can work on that directly okay so Let's put these elements up here and I'm just going to do them in the order that they have them on the sheet of paper and as I said you don't have to follow their instructions you can add things to this if you've got your own die cuts with flowers you can add stamp sentiments there's lots of different things you can do with it so the first thing we're going to do is grab this one with the set of three and it shows on the instructions that you're going to put tape down the centre and also across this panel and if this is the same as our normal tape you can just tear it you don't even need scissors the only thing you might need scissors for is to actually open the packet okay so I'm going to put a piece on here like so and then we've got this one here and they're showing you putting a piece across the center like that I don't know if I need more than that and then they show putting this on the left hand side with um, this middle one just on the bottom edge okay now obviously you could you could have this higher or lower you don't have to follow those guidelines exactly so I'm just lightly going to place this on here I don't want to push too hard down because I have got tape sort of all the way over it like so and then I'm going to peel this piece off and they have used the little dotty petal pink piece here so fold my card doesn't matter which way around um, all of these cards you can use either either way around obviously this one you want that to be the front for sure but there isn't um, I don't think there's a right and a wrong way to these at all so we'll peel this other piece off here so this is step number three like so positioning this 
they've got it just sort of sort of halfway down like so and then they've used the hello and placed it onto here with the dimensionals behind it and then adding the little dots in so turn this over in the photograph they even show you where to put these but you can if you're happy and you know what you're doing you can put more or less on entirely up to you this has got four on it just peel these away peel the backings there we go and they've got this quite a way over I'm not going to put mine quite so much over I don't think because I want to see more of the flower <laughs> so I might actually put mine a bit further down like so and then we've got these little pretty dots here and you can peel them off either with your finger if you've got a pokey tool you can use that or you could use the tip of your scissors if you've got some to hand or tweezers anything like that and um, I just tend to bend the plastic sheet away from that and then they even tell you or suggest where you can put these but you don't have to do it where they say you can put them in different places there's that one there where did it go there it is but I've lost it from that and that it's a jaunty angle down like that there we go so that's our first card very sweet and as I say if you don't like the sentiments then turn it over and if you have stamp set or maybe peel offs you could put those on in place so that's card number one and the next one card number two uses this base card here with all of those beautifully watercolour printed hollyhocks just fold that over the card is already scored for you so you just need to fold it over and just give it a good crease if you've got a ruler or anything else like that or a block if you're a crafter then you can run that down to get a nice sharp image and then for this card they've suggested this piece here and two of these so if I can work out which ones they've used this one mm -hmm. and this one here and what's very clever with this is they've given you the little piece at the bottom so it's quite easy to attach them together and you can just use a little piece of the tape or you could use the, the um, dimensional so let me do it as they've suggested a little piece of tape between them if you didn't like these pieces you could leave those out and just add the other flowers to the top so I'm going to do one as, as they've suggested and I don't think it really matters which way around you put these you could have the blue one in front the blue one behind whatever so that's those two together and that's going to go behind this panel here like so so I would put my piece of tape on this one exactly the same only needs a tiny little bit like that lift the backing off it does come off really easily and then we've got this to go on now I'm just going to have a look and see where I want this to go on my panel so they've got it going here personally I think it's a shame to cover up any of that 
um, but we're going to add our piece here so I'm going to add mine almost to the to the very edge so what I'm actually going to do is position this here like that and then put my piece on top because I want it as far over to the edge as I can get because I don't really want to hide any of these lovely hollyhocks so I'm just going to work out where that is want to make sure that that's got enough space so I'm just pushing that down onto there and this is going to go on they put that on with tape so I will do the same I'm just going to put a piece straight across that middle you could use the foam pads if you prefer and I'm going to have this like so and then they've suggested the thinking of you could go in there you can have it right over the edge if you wanted to in their diagram they've got it a little way along if you can see that or not like so and this is going to go on with dimensionals behind these little foam pads so if I was doing the whole lot in one go then I would do this in batches so I get all of these elements ready at the same time and then just do because you've got three of each card so you could put all the smaller elements together and you can swap and change your sentiments of course you don't have to use the thinking of you you could swap out and use the hello they are different shapes but I don't think it makes a huge amount of difference so I'm just going to have mine there at the bottom and then again you can add some of the bling to that yeah just trying to work out where they put the bling on this one I'm not even sure I can see it let me see on the other picture oh. it's very well camouflaged so I can see it on the next one so you could put a little line of three up here or you could dot them around maybe they put them down here I don't know let's just pop some on um, one there on there and one in there there we go so that's card number two I have to say this looks better than I thought it was going to because uh, I didn't like to obliterate the pretty design on the backing card okay that's card number two and then finally number three sorry that's my neighbour's dog barking I've got all the doors and windows open so I'm just folding this one in half and for this one we have this lovely frame that's going to go on here and they've got this larger blue piece attached to the back of the frame here I believe so that's in there this one on top and then we've got our thanks on the other layer going over that so this sort of comes into this area here so we're going to do the same as we've done before I'm going to put a little bit of tape on here and don't worry about it showing because it's going to be covered up with our little thanks so say there's plenty of tape on there I, ha I probably used sort of one circle of it if you like um, let me see I might do a little bit on both sides okay oops Let's lift that 
off. Okay, just gently going to set that down. And they have suggested dimensionals around the back to lift that little frame up and then put this piece behind. I think what I'm going to do is just sort of attach this in that corner like so. They've got theirs a little bit higher but I'm happy with that. And then these mini dimensionals are perfect for putting along this edge. Just make sure you turn it so the flat side of the hexagon fits on there. One, two, Just put one on there to support that. I'm hoping my camera position is better than it was last week. I had a few complaints that it was too far down. I'm sorry about that. I'd obviously knocked the camera at some point and it was at a jaunty angle and then I'd adjusted it but of course I hadn't it had sort of moved down okay just peeling the backs of this off like so if you wanted to you could just put a strip of the glue tape um, all the way down and your choice you could put this absolutely in the center you could put it slightly less slightly high whatever okay you can see i haven't peeled that backing off there we go just letting that sit on there and then we've got these two together so i'm just going to put a little piece of tape as they show on there or you could put it on the back of the other, it doesn't really matter. Like so. This one on the top. And again, you can do it centrally, you could do it to one side. If you wanted to, you could make this into a little banner by cutting in from the edges like that you could do that on both sides if you want to I'm just going to leave it on one and then this is going to go across there hopefully you can see that smooth out the light and this is going to straddle the frame I haven't taken that backing off either it's attached itself back so what I'm going to do is put a dimensional right on the two edges so that it will sit on top of here without being double height if that makes any sense hi Zanna I hope you're keeping well I'm looking for there they are dimensionals so this is the hollyhocks kit I don't know if it's one that you've got So I'm not going to put any um, dimensionals in the middle because I want it to straddle that element on the left hand side. Okay. Just going to have this a little bit further down than they've got it so it hasn't got a, a gap in between and then I'm going to pop the dots on here and they've got one here and one down there I think I'm going to do one up here and down there like that okay and you can see I've still got plenty of these left I've got one two three four five six cards 
if I use three for every card and a set left as well so there's plenty of those and that's our third card so let me show you those just really quickly as I say there's lots you can do with that this is really just as as is so there's this one here we've got that one and then we've got that one there this is just beautiful this backing so I don't know which is which would be my favorite one possibly this one just for its simplicity or this one only because I like that watercolor image but this is quite cute too so I think probably this one one two three would be my choice so it's enough to make three each of those three cards so that's nine cards for 14 pounds that's less than one pound fifty per card is it about 125 I want to say now I've got to calculate it haven't I she says oh I beg your pardon one pound fifty five UK money for each card and that includes the envelope as well so one two three one two three and then you've got another three that you can do and then as I said you do have some bits and pieces left over and you do have all of those sentiments in the four different languages English French German and Dutch and if you don't use all of those as I said before any that you wouldn't use you could turn over and use as a die cut in its own right or you could use it um, just as a, a backing so this one here for example Hoi, which is Dutch I believe then you could have something over here a little circle of something um, or some die cut flowers or a ribbon I know it's not the best example but you could use it in lots of different ways um, you could even add it underneath here so you can have that layer you could ink that up have it behind there and then another one on top so don't throw these away make sure you make best use of them okay so that is it thank you so much for joining me this evening if you are um, I suspect people will be just in passing because I'm not normally live on a Friday evening um, but I just wanted to try and catch up and share this kit because I've got two others that I haven't yet shared the last one I did was I believe the one with the cats and the dogs which I'm trying to think what it's called but I can't remember and all of the kits can be found online that's the best place to find them um, but if you're looking for a particular one and you know what it has in it but you don't have access to the internet then don't hesitate to message me call me um, or text me and I'll look into it and see if I can find that kit for you thank you so much have a great weekend I will be back here on Monday with our next new stamp set of the week but in the meantime this kit is called hello hollyhocks i called it happy hollyhocks earlier on and i realized my mistake so hello hollyhocks and it's 14 pounds available to order right now thank you so much have a great weekend <laughs> bye bye everyone <laughs>